Hello my friends, and welcome back to part 3, of the GC and AVC integration series, what we're going to do today is fixing the camera view, adding the mechanic for draw and shade, and where you find the integrations, plus how to enable them. Of course, I try to explain, the settings and adjustments we do, best as I can. Let's get started. What we will now do quickly, is to fix the camera view issue. Normally it should work as it is, but we are still looking, for an fix for that. It is important to know here, that this is only the case in combination with the creator. The manual creation, which I will show you in a later part, does not have this issue. Once we found a solution, for the normal way we will of course update you. For now we will use the ABC camera system instead. As a first step, we remove the GC camera, and the main camera as well. The reason for the main camera is, the ABC camera replaces them. After we removed, the cameras, let's open the global portal again. Go to window, ABC, global portal. This may take some seconds. Now we need to drag our player again, inside the empty character field. This let us see our settings again, as a tip, that shows only the settings, from the object you drag in. Now, we check the add camera field. This adds the ABC camera system to our scene. When checked, simply click on create character again. Let's go into play mode. Now the camera is working correctly. The next on the list is to enable the integrations for Game Creator and the Stats module. So let's do that. Let's click on our player. In our inspector, we now need to scroll a bit down to find the ABC components. Here we have the most important things related to ABC. Find a little tab with the name integrations and open them to see what's available. Let's click on Enable for both of these Game Creator ones. This can take up to a minute to install some currently missing files, and this files are similar to modules in examples, actions, components, and triggers. After it's all activated, you now have access to them. The last thing I want to cover in this part is to enable the draw and shiate system. Our player has currently the weapon directly equipped. But what we want now is to have the weapon shated, and we need to draw them before we can use it. To do that, Let's click in the ABC components on Controller Manager. This opens a main window with a really high amount of settings. During the series, I will explain more and more to this settings, but for now let's focus on the idle mode. By default, the idle mode is disabled. Let's enable them and choose a key. I like to have ES key. As tip, you can click your wish key on your keyboard to find the key faster. Let's drag the window to the right, or close it for now. And let's see in play mode the result. As you can see, our one-handed sword is correctly on the back. You no need to click the key first, to draw the weapon. With clicking the key again, the sword will shake head again. One thing I would like to recommend, definitely have a look at RVR. To get a basic understanding for the basics of Game Creator and its modules. This will help you in future and advanced parts. So if you want, stop by a, and leave a little love there, link to the basics, in the description. So that's it, for this part of the tutorial, I hope you enjoy and it helps all of you guys, see you in part 4. Thank you.